breaking news we've been bringing you all morning on social media of a deadly crash in far northeast El Paso. Good morning, I'm Sandra Damitas. News Channel 9 was first to break the story on Twitter and Facebook this morning of the wreck at Stan Roberts and Martin Luther King Drive. News Channel 9's Chorus Nyland has been at the scene since early this morning. He joins us live near the crash scene. Chorus. Well, Sandra, as you can see behind me, El Paso police officers, they still have Martin Luther King Boulevard shut down in both directions. They have it closed off all the way up to Stan Roberts just before the New Mexico state line. El Paso police confirming at least one person has died in this serious crash. This is as close as we can get you to the scene at this point. Uh, the actual crash scene probably just a, a little more than a mile down the road from here. We were first on the scene and broke the story online. Initial information from emergency dispatchers is two people were taken to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Again, at least one person has died, according to police. The crash happening around 10 30 last night. The cir circumstances behind this wreck still unclear at this point, and it remains under investigation. Within the last few minutes, we did see a tow truck arriving on scene to begin starting to clear that wreckage. I've been talking to officers here at the scene throughout the morning, uh, and one of them tells me that they expect this to remain closed for at least a couple more hours at this point. So unclear uh, when you can expect the road reopen, but we'll bring you the latest information as soon as we receive more updates. Reporting live in Northeast El Paso this morning, Course Highlander, News Channel 9.